food. How y'all doing? I know it's been a long time since I cooked a meal. Well, not really, but for YouTube, that is. <laughs> and today we are cooking a shepherd's pie. Keto shepherd's pie. Woohoo! My daughter actually sent me this recipe. I just tweaked it just a little bit. But I forgot my green pepper. Poo. So you can add a green pepper to it if you want. I am sauteing some mushrooms up to go into our shepherd's pie. Because we fixed this the other night and I just felt like it needed a little bit of something something. So if you don't like mushrooms, don't add them because the recipe doesn't call for them. I cut up about an eighth of an onion and I'm going to saute the onions to add to the mushrooms for the shepherd's pie. The recipe calls for cauliflower. You steam it till it gets really soft and then you can smash it up, put some butter in it. Yep, people, you can have butter. Use a cup and a half of green beans. I had these left from my trial run. A quarter of a cup of salt. A quarter of a cup of garlic. I was really surprised. And an eighth of a cup of pepper. And you use brown gravy mix with low sodium. Tablespoon, I do believe. And you use a quarter of a cup of water and mix it all up. And there it is. And you put that in with the hamburger. 100% ground beef. And my daughter told me to use a 93.7. However, I couldn't find any. So this was grass fed. And um, we decided that we would just drain this off. So, oh, and of course, you know, with shepherd's pie, you layer everything, and we use Kobe Jack to top it all off. Now I'm going to brown the ground beef, and when it gets to where it's almost done, I'll add all of my seasonings and the brown gravy mix. While the ground beef is browning, we are going to um, we're going to start our cauliflower. Just cut it off the stem. And some of it you can break off. Don't cut your finger off. <laughs> Sorry. About did. <laughs> but just, you know, because you want it, you want it to soften. So let's just cut her up and get her going. Steam that puppy. We really did like this the other night. And it's so good for you. And I mean, you don't even know. Well, there went another piece. You don't even know that it is keto. It tastes so good. Because what you're going to do with this uh, cauliflower is once it softens up, about about 10 minutes, I think, um, you're going to smash it up, put some butter in it, just like you would uh, cream potatoes. And it's really good. I mean, we, <laughs> we even like them as cream potatoes. So, hey. We do eat these a lot. Okay, start them to steam. There we go. Those are on. Set the timer, because I'll forget. Ten minutes. There we go. Alright, let's check on this hamburger. Oh yeah, it's getting there. Nice. Really, all you're gonna you're gonna put this in the oven after you layer everything in the um, in your square pan, or you know you can double this order if you have a big family too. But I use a little um, I don't know 11 by 11 pan because it's just me and him, and that's two that's two meals for us. So yeah, now it's getting there. Alright, now let's add all let's add our ingredients. Stir this up good. Alright, put that in there. Alright. 
and the garlic. And you want to sprinkle it on top so you can get it all mixed up. Now, if you want a little bit more garlic than that, you go for it. And y'all see, I'm adding salt, but you know how Mr. Childers is. He'll have to put his own dash on there. <laughs> all right, pepper. There we go. Now, let's get this all mixed up. Oh, yeah. It smells good. Got to get that smell of vision working now. Man. Oh, see how it's getting? Nice. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, that looks awesome. So let's add some of the onions and the mushrooms. If you've watched any of my other cooking videos, you know I kind of go by uh, what I think looks good and what I think will taste good. <laughs> oh, I think we might be able to add some more of that in there. Oh my gosh, that smells so awesome. Let's just add all of it in there. What the heck, right? That was one of those little containers of mushrooms and an eighth of an onion. An eighth of a small onion. And if you need more, then you just add more. And this is shepherd's pie. If I had a green pepper, I would have added a green pepper in here too, but I forgot to get it. That's okay. That's okay. Now that looks pretty darn good. Sweet. Okay. Man, I want just a bite of that. <laughs> All right. Back to you in a jiffy. Okay, the ground beef, the spices, the gravy mix, and the mushrooms and onions are all ready to go. We're just waiting on the cauliflower. And I do believe I'm going to have to let that go for a couple more minutes. I'll let you know how long. Okay, the cauliflower is done. And you have to have it so that it's easy enough for you to smash up like cream potatoes. And it took 15 minutes for that to happen. <laughs> wow. All right. Let's mash these potatoes up and let's see. Oh, well, cauliflower. I put a half a stick of butter in the bottom of this. Ooh, it makes a mess now, okay? Because it's all crumbly. And you could put it in your, um, I may do that actually. Put it in my, um, I'll put it in my Ninja. Let's get her up in here. Put it in the Ninja. That way it'll be smashed up really good. Yep, I'm making a mess. That's the only thing about this I do not like is that it crumbles big time. Okay, it's got butter in there, so it should do okay. Let's put a little bit of water in there with it. Just a little bit. Woo, that was loud. Holy moly. All right. But we have our creamed cauliflower now. We're going to put the ground beef in the pan. All right. That is a lot of ground beef, folks. A lot of ground beef. One pound. One pound of ground beef. And don't forget to spray your pan. Put the green beans on top. Okay. Spread those all out. Now let's put the cauliflower on top. 
Oh, look how good that looks, y'all. Look at that. Is that not awesome? That's awesome. I love my ninja. I do love the ninja. That's just one head of cauliflower. Okay. Steamed and ninja up. Yes, I said it. Ninja up. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Oh, let's get this off. Oh, that was good too. Mm, 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 mm. Now let's add the cheese to the top. And it says a cup and a half, but I don't go by that either. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I just put it on here until I think it looks good. <laughs> You can use as much or as little as you like. Shepherd's pie is so easy. I mean, I, I've made it before and I've never ever measured. I just do my, do my usual thing. Just go by what I think is right. It usually turns out right. Oh, I like to have it all covered though. All covered. Okay, that looks pretty good, huh? All right. Next thing we do is put it in the oven on 350 for about 10 or 15 minutes. You know, when, you're, when your cheese melts, it's done. I've got it in the oven in my Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. And we're gonna close the door. And let's see, let's put the power button on. We're going to, well, let's just lower that down to 10 minutes. And we're going to lower this to when that cheese melts on top and it gets a little brown, she'll be all good, ready to eat. Yummy. Woo-wee, look how pretty that is getting. Just a little bit longer. The oven says about six more minutes. We shall see if it even takes that long. All right. Oh, look at that. Yummy. I'm calling Mr. Childers in. Yeah, Mama been cooking. I've been cleaning. Mm-hmm. Outside for me, though. Now, he's going to taste test this. Mm hmm You did a good job on this one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. It's good. 